Good morning everybody, this is uh, Chip at 45 LC here this morning. We're going to be loading up some uh, 45 Colt brass this morning. And uh, like that camera angle yesterday on the 223 brass I was doing. So, you know, we're going to deprime this brass, resize it, completely load it up. So, uh, we'll see how this uh, camera angle works on reloading. First stage here is our decap resizing die. We'll uh, put our primer in there on the downstroke. We'll seat a new primer. It's nice and flush with the case, just like we want it to be. Um, I manually turned my turret. I took the thing out because sometimes I just want to resize a bunch or uh, whatever the case may be so I just do a manual turn doesn't affect my speed at all so next we put a little powder in it uh, then we'll turn the turret again we'll be loading these 200 grain round nose flat points our third stage is our bullet seating die and it's not seating quite where I want it, so I'm going to adjust it a little bit. A little bit more. So, that's about where I want it seated. We'll turn it one more time. This is the factory crimp die. And what it does is it kind of rolls this edge into the, into the lead. So it builds a little more back pressure when you're firing it. So uh, we'll do a couple more here real quick. Again, I check each and every primer to make sure it's seated properly. Uh, as you've heard me mention in other videos, overall length of the bullet is very important. If it's not the right length, it may not chamber in your gun. So always be aware of, of your overall length. So, whoops. So again, size, D-prime, prime on the downstroke, and after you've been doing it a while, you don't have to check every primer, you'll, you'll know the feel as uh, you do it more and more, and you'll know whether the primer seated properly or not. Again, I'll put a 200 grain round nose flat point in, seat, crimp. So, there we go. I've got a couple of hundred of these to make, so instead of boring you all with the whole 200 rounds, I'll uh, just do a couple more here, kind of real time. Kind of get you used to the idea of what it actually takes. You know, I did have a squib bullet a couple of weeks ago, so for any of those that don't quite understand that, that's a bullet that had only primer, no powder. Luckily, I was shooting it out of my revolver, didn't cause any major issues, so I'm kind of Playing a little safe here these days and making sure every round that I load has powder. So, like I said, we're moving along pretty good this morning. I've got lots of ammo to load today. I'll be loading some 
45, some 9 millimeter, some 38, 357, also a little uh, 223. So as the day goes on, I'll probably upload a video or snippet of all that that I do today. So, like I said, we're just moving right along here. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the first 10. I'm actually going to make about 200 of these 45 Colt today. I uh, have two guns that shoot this. I have a uh, Ruger Vaquero that's chambered in 45 Colt. I also have a Henry Big Boy rifle. It's also chambered in 45 Colt. So anyway, that's 10 rounds. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I'll come back later with some other other different rounds, some other different calibers. Hope you enjoy it. Bye.